Hello, everybody. Welcome to Tuesday. The S&P 500 was up one quarter of 1% today. Uh, another record close, which is great. Uh, NVIDIA became the largest capitalized company in the world today, passing Microsoft and Apple. Uh, some very bullish reports came out about artificial intelligence and NVIDIA specifically, uh, kind of driving uh, that stock upward, uh, which has been kind of the crazy story for you know the last several months here. Uh, retail sales came out today and they were actually weaker than expected for the month of May, up only 0.1%. Um, again, in some places that'd be looked at as a good thing. Uh, you know, normally you want to see retail sales really hopping, keep us out of a recession. You know, this is what we've dealt with for so long now, but when you're in an inflationary environment, hot retail sales can push inflation higher. Uh, and so if retail sales slow down, maybe the Federal Reserve sees that also and looks at possible rate cuts. Uh, we're, we're basically doing this teeter-totter thing here where, you know, you need some things to slow down. You don't want them to slow down too much. Too much, we end up in a recession. You know, if they don't slow down enough, we end up with a continuation of this inflationary environment that we're in. Uh, and so the soft landing is so rare because it is very difficult to find that balance point between, you know, too much and too little. So, uh, you know, what we're seeing right now would be considered uh, in the middle, uh, which is where you want to go. Uh, some growth, as we've seen that with the GDP reports, we've seen that with earnings reports, we've seen, you know, new job openings, even though they're coming down, there's still over 8 million left, you know, those type of things. So uh, you've got this scenario where, you know, we're still heading down the middle path, which we've been heading down for a long time, and, and nobody seems to really want to acknowledge that. Um, and, you know, the stock market seems to know what's going on. And the stock market is a great indicator of future performance for the economy. If the stock market's going up, the good chances that the economy will be doing well the next three to 18 months. Uh, that's why it's one of the leading economic indicators. Uh, so I think that's good. You know, we'll have to see how things play out. There's all kinds of things that can trip up, you know, a good path that you're on. Uh, but so far, it's continued to do, uh, you know, what, what we'd expect. And that's why we're seeing, you know, higher values for our stock market accounts. Uh, uh, so anyway, look forward to seeing what's going to happen. Now, the market's now closed tomorrow uh, for Juneteenth, so I won't be doing a video, uh, but I'll be back on Thursday and we'll see what's happening then. I uh, look forward to talking to you. Thank you very much.